Hello, morning. So we're Harry Pay today, something slightly different again, uh, with Andy on his beautiful looking. Uh, currently at Brighton Marina, we have just fueled up. I 420 think spent quid. 420 quid on should diesel. Day. Yeah, should just get, get us to lunch. <laughs> um, anyway, so we are <coughs> out on Harry Pay. A beautiful, beautiful loch in If you haven't seen it, I'll give you a show in a little while. But we're going to be heading out. You're going to see it. It's going to be the wind farm area. Um, and we're going to go to a bit of mixed ground. Now, I'm on a bit of a species hunt this year. So uh, I think I have caught the taupe, so I've still got to get. Uh, I'm looking for a blonde eyed ray, um, a few other rays, a thornback I haven't had this year. Um, yeah, I've had, a few, I've had a few things, and hopefully Thresher, you never know, you never know. John Dory is another one that I'd like to try and get. So yeah, we're heading out to a bit of mixed ground where there's a bit of everything. So fingers crossed, we're going to get some really decent fish. So we will see you out there. Thanks very much. So I don't know if you can see this, we've just come out to go and pick up some uh, bait. Uh, we've got about four macro so far, but you can see the water fizzing over there. That's where the bait ball is. You can see it literally just fizzing around, fizzing around, fizzing around. And uh, looking carefully, every now and then you can see the bait balls goes underneath the boat. But yeah, you can see them out there fizzing. Fizzing around. So yeah, we're literally just jigging up and down at the moment. Getting some mackerel. So yeah, we've had about four or five. You can see the other boats there. Yeah another boat so yeah we'll catch some more bait and we'll be on the way and he's just filling up the bait well doing the morning workout yeah all right let me put this back on So we're all set up, and he's having his breakfast. Caught two back to begin with, and on this one here we've got so we've got a string of feathers. I'm kind of hoping to see if I can get some launts. Uh, if I can find launts, we're in generally a good place um, because they like the sandy banks. So that's the hope. We're going to get some launts on this. I've already got uh, a big, quite a big uh, turbot spoon down with long flowing trace afterwards and then uh, a 6 chino hook and uh, that's got a nice lump of mackerel on the end of it now at the moment we're not really drifting um, and we want it to drift so we've just come after the, the low water and the, we've just done to hit the flood now so fingers crossed we're going to come over a nice great big bank and uh, yeah and catch some turbot fingers crossed but there's also a giant weaver here as well, or the greater weaver, not giant weaver, they could be giants, uh, greater weaver, and they're great. Um, we've also, I know there's small eyed ray here as well, there's John Dory's, there's just, there's, there's so many different types of fish. So yeah, very mixed ground. So it's gonna be a bit of a surprise to see what we catch and probably just not gonna know. So let's see how we get on. <sighs> so here's the most annoying thing. <laughs> The battery just died, went to change the battery, had a fantastic bite on my rod and uh, went for a nice long run and it snapped it and you can feel the line is completely threaded. So I think that is a taupe. So I'm going to go and get myself a taupe tray set up on the other rod um, because there's definitely some bigger things down there. It was a big old tape, whatever that was. Yeah, it was a 60 pound line and it's just shredded. Yeah, it's just started running now, so we should just be right for hitting that back. So we're oh. trying to catch some more mackerel here, and Andy's just hooked into something that does not feel like a mackerel. Oh, is that a mackerel? Oh, maybe it's a. It is a. It's a scad. Oh, even better. 
Even better, you know why? I need that as a species. Oh, you do? Yeah. <laughs> well, even better for bait and the species hunt. There, there we go. go. That's good. Say left the chalk. So I think the camera died last time, just as I was bringing in that bream. It's the smallest bream in the world. It was only about that big, tiny thing. So we're going to be going for bream tonight. Andy needs some supper. Otherwise, we're never going to be allowed fishing again. So we're about to sacrifice some mackerel to the uh, the seagull gods. I'm sure that'll work. Here you go. Evidence. Here's a lump. Yeah. Warm sun. There we go. Our luck will change now. You watch. We've given something back. We want a nice four pound bream. But no, seriously, it's been a, it's been really crap actually. The banks we went out to, nothing. Got up at twenty past four for this. Yeah, twenty past four. Yeah. I was so in the car nothing. at half four. Got down at half, half five. Nothing. And then we went out and tried some more ground, the turbid grounds we expected was going to be there. Nothing. Uh, and it's perfect time for it, perfect conditions, everything was perfect, nothing. Even the mackerel there, nothing. And then we've come over to this reef that we know quite well, where we tend to get, well, had bass, pollock, had everything out. Nothing. Dead. Perfect time, perfect everything, just nothing. Tried lures, tried bait, and then the last drift just had a bream, a tiny little bream. So it just shows how frustrating this fishing can be. Certainly not perfect. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have one more run over there, see if we can get another bream, or a decent sized bream for tea. And then we're gonna try another bass mark further in. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Oh, hang on, oh, hang on. Right, hang on. Ah, what was that? That was, I don't know if you saw that. That was annoying. Hmm. I don't know if it's still on or off. Might still be on. Like. I think it's still on. Oh, I've got a bike. Going over the now. Oh, you're not going to believe this. Export mackerel on your mackerel strip. So this is what happens when you sacrifice a mackerel to the gods. <coughs> you instantly catch a mackerel on your bream rig. That's not a bad size one, but it's just not quite what we're after. So we'll put that in the pot. Stand by. Right. So where were we before I caught that spectacular mackerel? Um, so basically, we've had a bit of a naff morning so far, despite getting up at. Crack of dawn. So we're gonna try another bass mark, put it further in, and then we're gonna try another tote mark and we got big place. That's where Nick caught his big place a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and rays and other things. So there's still hope for today, but we'll see. By the way, Andy needs some tea, so we're trying to catch some tea. Right, I think I'm into a tote because it had a cracking run and it's just had a lovely dive down. <coughs> oh, it's off. It's off. So I think this is going to be a lovely cracking tote. Yeah, I was going to say if you don't mind getting this one in as well. Too late. Woo! We're into your biggie. Come on. Every time he just dives again. He's just diving again. You got um got big mono on there, haven't you? Yeah, 150 pound mono. Okay, good. I'll get the gloves. Oh yeah, come on, baby. You'll probably find this is probably going to be a, a five pound bass. If it is a five pound bass, I'm going to cry. 
all day. All right, you can see color. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely taupe. Lovely taupe. Hello, baby. Ah. Right, okay. You got it? Oh, it's gone. You're lucky. Oh. You're gone. That's right. Did you see that? I hope you saw that. <laughs> I'm estimating that as like 200 pound tote. Uh, <laughs> Good no, stuff. Seriously, it's probably about 20 pound tote. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah. Woo! <laughs> right. Let's get some more down. Yeah, he's on mine. <laughs> Three bits of mackerel <laughs> involved. Made a right mess of that. Sandpaper burns. Try and take a picture of this. <laughs> Look. There you go. Turn around if you can. Get the sun going. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, well done. All right. There we go. People, viewers. This <laughs> enormous taupe. It's a oh, heavy beast. Anyway, catch of the day. Ah, right, okay. Just a take. Three, two, one. Oh, I might like it. I might like it. God, what a mess he made. Oh, my word. Oh, God, that is hurting me. I've got tote rash. Right. How can that fish been on for so little time and done that much damage? Unbelievable. Right, well, I hope you caught that bit of drama. Um, that was a bit of excitement with that tope run. Anyway, so today's been a bit of a, uh, a funny day. Day of two halves. The first has been pretty rubbish, and then this afternoon has really picked up with those tope. Uh, so, yeah, really chuffed with those. 
Um, but apart from that, I think we're kind of roasting out the boat and uh, my battery's about to die from a GoPro. So I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and uh, until the next crazy video.